Well, that is not good. And uh, no doubt I hit a nail or some piece of metal in there. Oh yeah, the teeth are pretty banged up. Now, it's toast. Hi everyone, welcome back to Old Guy Firewood. My name is Dick and uh, I appreciate you being here. If it's your first time, uh, thanks for stopping in. If you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back. But uh, what we're going to do today is uh, take a look at uh, uh, the chain on this saw. If you remember from my last video, if you watched it, I was cutting up some big oak rounds and I got into uh, uh, about a 28 inch um, log, oak log, got about halfway through it on my second cut and hit some metal. And uh, I showed you some pictures of uh, the teeth, uh, I think back then. and. Um, I've got a few more I'm going to pop in here now. But um, this saw and this chain is really, really in bad shape. So what we're going to do today is see if we can resurrect this chain, um, if we can file it back behind, uh, beyond the damage points, and um, get it in, in good condition again and uh, take it outside and we'll make some cuts and uh, see how it's working. So um, stay with me and uh, we'll take, take the chain off now and uh, get to work on it. There was a time many, many years ago when a chain damaged this badly uh, probably would have gone in the trash. And uh, I think that may still be the case today with a lot of folks who are maybe homeowners with saws or um, guys who don't cut a whole lot, um, they may look, look at this kind of damage and say, wow, just not, just not anything that can be done with it. But uh, over the years I've learned how to sharpen chain and uh, normally I like to do it uh, just with a with a file and do it by hand. Occasionally, I'll I'll sharpen with a Dremel. After watching uh, Chris at, in the wood yard, uh, I said, "Well, heck, I'll I'll give that a try." And it actually works pretty good for a touch up. But um, my favorite still is hand filing. But when you got a chain that's rocked like this one is, you could file it by hand. But uh, the problem is that it would take you so long um, to, ground, to grind each tooth down and, and get, it, uh, get it to where you need to get it. That um, When I have one that's this bad, I like to go ahead and put it on the electric, electric grinder. And that's what we're going to do today. This is the grinder we're going to be using today. Um, as I mentioned, I prefer hand filing or touching up with the Dremel tool. This one, this is a Tecamec, um, a Tecamec Jolly Star. Now, Tecamec is an Italian company that builds these grinders, and they actually build the grinders for Oregon. So, um, if you have an Oregon chain grinder, it's basically a, a Tecamec that's been uh, rebadged and marketed under the Oregon name. But uh, for the chain that we're sharpening today, it's a, a Husky um, X-cut chain, and the manufacturer recommends um, zero down angle, so we've got the table here level, and it recommends 30 degrees. So we're gonna set it down here to 30 degrees, right there at 30. And Tighten it up. Okay, we've got the uh, chain clamped in here now. Um, I've brought it back against this stop here, and you can adjust that stop with this knob over here. Um, I'll tighten it up and see where the wheel hits it. That looks pretty good. We're going to be taking just a little bit off, hopefully, enough to get back into some good tooth. Uh, one thing I'd mention this uh, the wheel on this grinder. It comes with a stone wheel and uh, I went ahead and, and bought one of these 
I think they're called CBN wheels. And they're expensive, but it's the best investment I ever made. Uh, you don't have to constantly shape them. And um, they cut, I think, smoother and certainly uh, with less heat. So uh, now the other thing we've got to adjust, one more thing, is we've got to adjust how far down we go into the tooth. And you do that with a knob over here on the top of the on the top of the grinder. So set that. I'm going to lock it in. Let's see. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start it up and see how that how that works. That looks pretty good. Loosen it up. Go to the next tooth on that side, which is right here. Draw it back against the stop. Clamp it. Okay, we're back to where we started. We turn the grinder off for a minute here. And uh, now we have to grind the teeth on the left side of the chain. And to do that, we loosen this up and swing it around. Again, we're going to go to manufacturer's recommendation of 30 degrees. And clamp it back down. I don't know if you can see just how bad those teeth are, but uh, the whole front part of this tooth, let me kind of switch around here. Zoom in a little bit on it. All right, I went ahead and uh, and ground the rest of that side of the saw and or of the chain rather and got all the teeth on the left side uh, sharpened up and I put the chain back on the saw and now we got to check the raker gauge because we took those teeth back quite a bit and uh, it may require quite a bit of adjustment on the rakers. Let's see. Yeah, it's about uh, Without the gauge on there, it's about two good strokes, and um, I don't—I really don't need to put it on each tooth. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and go around and take two strokes off each raker. Okay, that should get the rakers down to where they need to be. And uh, 
We'll go ahead and take the saw outside and crank it up, see how it cuts. Okay, let me grab one of these uh, oak logs here. And I'll cut a, a round or two off of it. All right, let's crank this off and see what it's going to do. I'd say I gotta be pretty pleased with that. It's cutting pretty good. Well, there you have it. We took a chain that was rocked pretty hard and uh, in real bad shape. One that um, maybe a lot of people would have thrown away and filed the teeth back, got it back to where they needed to be. And I'm pretty pleased with the way it's cutting. Uh, be honest with you, if I'd taken those rakers down just a little bit more it would have cut a little bit better, but I'm pleased with the way it's cut, and I'm pleased with the fact that uh, I saved a chain that would probably cost me $25 to replace. So um, I think that'll do it for today's video. I, um, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. If you're not already subscribed and you like this kind of thing, then please subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, I really appreciate you being here, and I hope you enjoy uh, what I'm showing you. As I always say, uh, as an old guy, the best advice I can give you is to keep moving.